Hi, this is Chris Stokes-Reese, Application Specialist with AudioScan, and this will be a quick overview of the features and changes in the Fall 2016 software release. AudioScan offers no-charge updates through the website twice annually. Spring focuses on new tests and major features. Fall is dedicated to workflow enhancements. The features added will vary by hardware configuration. Here we'll have a look at what's new for each model. This release is version 4.8 for Verifit 2, 1.14 for Axiom, and 3.16 for RM500SL and legacy Verifit VF1 models. Visit audioscan.com and click on the software updates link for downloads and step-by-step -step installation instructions. So, what's new? Streamlined assessment data entry for Verifit 2, Monitor headphone level boosts, also for Verifit 2. The range of the binaural monitor headset has been increased to allow for easier listening to hearing instruments programmed for mild to moderate losses. Enhanced dual table view in Verifit 2, now showing all unaided levels and adjusted HL. We have a number of DSL enhancements and these apply to all products. Target interpolation in DSL, 8 kHz targets in DSL, Extended user sound file capabilities for all models. Shallow CIC instrument type added in test box speech map. Tonal targets in NAL NL2. The new Korean speech passage. And you can now select which day of the week calibration expires. The enhanced assessment entry screen is a significant benefit to Verifit 2 users who enter audiometry data manually. When you're in speech map and wish to enter assessment data, you still click on the audiometry button. The window that comes up next will look a little different. In here, we still select our target rationale, age where applicable, HL transducer, and whether the RECD will be average entered or measure. However, when you click on the Continue button, you're presented with a new dual view entry screen. Click in the graph to enter an audiogram. Note that once data has been entered for one ear, this Copy button at the bottom is activated. Clicking this will copy the same curve to the opposite empty side. This is of course a time saver for symmetric losses. Further data types can be entered in the same window. For example, if you had bone thresholds, you would select the BCT button. These can then be entered on the same graph. The same goes for measured UCL. And once again, if you enter only one side and the opposite ear remains empty, you'll have the option to copy the data. If you need to erase any of these curves, select the small X button beside the data type. You'll see the same setup on the WRECD entry screen. Again, both ears are displayed and a copy button is available. This can be quite useful since a single ear RECD is often used when measuring both is difficult. We're continuing to add calibrated native language speech passages. Last release it was Cantonese and Brazilian Portuguese. For this release we've added Korean. In the spring release we'll be adding Mandarin as well. Now, on to some DSL enhancements. There are a few, and they affect all AudioScan models. First off, we've added two additional HL transducer types. We've always had a setting for sound field, labeled as loudspeaker 45, which assumes a 45 degree azimuth to the subject. We've now added the LS0 and LS90 as well. Next, we have DSL target interpolation. Previously only implemented in NAL NL2, target interpolation allows for targets to be displayed at audiometric frequencies for which HL values were not entered. As you can see here, a speech test with an incomplete audiogram will still provide a complete set of speech targets. Also, you'll now notice that DSL is providing targets at 8 kHz, while previously these stopped at 6. This has been implemented across all AudioScan models and it's meant some additional changes. Verifit VF1, Axiom, and RM500SL previously did not accept audiogram entry up to 8 kHz. This is now required in order to provide the fitting targets at this frequency. Here's what the legacy Verifit screen now looks like with target interpolation, 
8 kHz audiogram entry, and 8 kHz DSL targets. Likewise, RECD on all products are measured and entered with an extra point at 8 kHz, except of course the Verifit 2, which already uses wideband RECD up to 12.5 kHz. An important note, if you have a 9-point measured RECD from current software, they'll still be valid in the updated software. The entry screen will accept an empty field for 8 kHz if you don't have it and automatically do a straight line interpolation before you run speech map. We've also added CIC shallow as a new instrument type. When running speech map in the test box, the instrument type determines the RECD type applied to the coupler microphone and which microphone location effects are applied to the stimulus. When CIC is selected, an additional correction for a deep insertion is also added. Since many CIC instruments do not extend that deep into the ear canal, the CIC shallow instrument type removes that additional correction. Some exciting changes have been made to the USB user sound file functionality. This is the feature where a clinician can utilize any custom sound file in SpeechMap by placing it as a WAV file on a USB stick and connecting it to their audio scan. Current uses for this are for testing frequency lowering with the SNSH stimuli, running alternate speech passages, and even using the Verifit speakers to perform behavioral speech tests. In many cases, especially with speech testing, the 20-second limit imposed in speech map was a problem. We've now lengthened this to one minute and also allow for long file names to be used. As always, there's a lot more information on our website. Please have a look at the AudioScan library for documentation, video links, research posters, and links to useful industry articles. Thank you for taking the time to join me today and please feel free to contact me directly at chris at audioscan.com if you need any further information.